Well, hello again. I'm Mark Garrison, and uh, I'm here to discuss uh, Anisha Kelly's Traveling Show by Frank Delaney with you. This is a book that Michael Laughlin had suggested to me, and uh, it's one that I hadn't read by Frank Delaney. And uh, having lost Frank on February 21st in 2017, while he was living in Connecticut, it gave me a motivation to uh, want to read this book, which turned out to be well worth my while. The, uh, uh, the storyline is such that uh, um, it's 127 pages broken, broken up into uh, uh, very short chapters, which is normally not very easy to read. Um, it can be disconcerting. But uh, the master, Frank Laney, uh, has it flowing like silk, smooth as silk. So, um, uh, the book reads very well. Frank wrote this in, uh, or copyrighted it at least in 2010, so it's about seven years old. If you haven't read it, you should read it. Um, the story takes place in uh, 1932 or uh, earlier and uh, uh, focuses on a young man named Ben, his mother and father, who are all working uh, their family farm in rural Ireland. Um, during this time, that's so shortly after uh, uh, the revolution and then uh, um, the Civil War, um, and how their family is affected by Venetia Kelly's uh, family and this traveling troupe of actors and uh, showmen. Um, I have to say that um, it's a very politically charged time and as the book progresses you see that uh, politics takes more and more of a part in the storyline um, you have you know Cosgrave's uh, council is ending and Dev is uh, Devil is is uh, uh, coming in to uh, take charge um, which you know as we know history has shown us that Devil Era uh, continue to have an influence on Ireland in a major way for many, many decades after this. So, um, I guess the uh, uh, benefit of, of having Frank do this book instead of someone else is that he takes this history and he intertwines it into this story uh, uh, full of mystery, full of intrigue, deception, um, full of parts of history that you may or may not be familiar with um, and certainly ties it all together into the storyline so that we're left feeling like we know these people, we know what they went through, we can feel the, the pains that they went through, we can tell exactly uh, uh, where they were, whether they were in Donegal or Charleville or uh, uh, maybe Galway or Dublin or somewhere in the Golden Vale, <laughs> where my family hails from. Um, these are, these are uh, emotional parts of this story that tie the reader into the, into the book um, and tie him into the, or into the uh, uh, political situation that was going on. I think that uh, um, by being able to do this with so much of the history of Ireland being shared with the readers, uh, Frank Delaney is seriously going to be missed. And I think that if you have a chance to read this book and read about the coming of age of Ben and, and in this time, um, I think that you'll probably come away a richer person for uh, the experience. God bless you.